Hello friends, welcome to Nigera Techies. In this video, I am going to explain how to insert images in PDF. And in our channel, already I have created the video for generating the PDF. So this is the additional add-on features. And the steps are also almost the same only it is have some slight difference while generating our HTML template. So the first thing is we have to install these packages only by us HTML render.pdf sharp that I already have done. And then we have to include these three namespaces. So that also done. So finally we have to generate our HTML content. So in that time wherever the image is required you have to include one image tag. And then source we have to provide the image URL. So if you have some external image URL that we can use otherwise if you have the images in our application we can generate the custom URL from our application itself or else we can convert the image into base64 format so that base64 result we can set source in our image okay so this is the concept now let me go to the implementation so as I mentioned here I have included all the namespaces first I am going to create one function PDF with image and this is the get method only so first we have to declare our PDF document next I am going to declare one HTML element this is string only so the initial value should be empty so next I am going to use this PDF generator so it is having the function is add PDF pages so first I am going to provide the input is document okay next our HTML content so that's what I have declared as the HTML element and the final one is our page size okay next I am going to use the memory stream so before that let me declare one byte array So the initial value should be null. Next we can use this memory stream. So next response equal to so ms dot two array okay. So once we have this uh, byte, we can return as the file here. Return file. So the first one is our response. And then our uh, file type. It's a PDF only. So application slash PDF. And the final one is our file name. okay so next we have to generate our HTML content so I am generating on a basic template only so now we are coming to our main concept so inserting the image so let me include one image tag here so in the style we can provide the height and width and the very important part is source okay so I suggest uh, three ways we can include this source the first one is using some external image URL currently I'm having one cloudinary uh, image URL let me show you yeah it is having one sample image so we can use this one first so we can use this image URL okay 
okay this is fine now I am going to run this application we can verify our output okay this is our function let me execute this one it is working fine and we can check okay fine our image is loaded so while generating our HTML content I made some small mistakes that we can resolve it okay I forget to include this one okay okay this is fine I hope it will works so currently we have completed using the external image URL next I'm going to explain so how to access the images from our application itself so let me copy one image here we can include here so when we are including the files so include in this www root folder so I have included this logo this is our channel logo only okay okay fine now I am going to use this logo so this one also we can access two ways one actually we can convert into a base 64 format and another one is we can make us the custom URL so let me take the second option first image URL equal to So if you clearly know about our host name we can include so otherwise uh, we have an option http context dot request host value okay so once we have this data we can form our URL so inside the upload folder and then common our file name is logo.jbug okay. you can command this one otherwise it will confuse us now I'm going to run the application once again you know our logo is coming correctly okay so if you want to verify the URL also we can verify let me put on breakpoint here we can execute the function once again see the image URL so this is our host name and we have the files in the folder of uploads and common so based on that we have generated our image URL okay I can check yeah it will work so this is the one way and next we can convert this image into base 64 format I am going to comment this one so when I am uploading these files into github this is for your reference okay for converting image into base 64 I am going to create one more function here I mean one more method let me make this one as the non-action method otherwise our swagger will throw some error okay so here the first step is so we have to access these images so we need the exact file path so I am going to inject one interface here I web post environment So then I am going to declare one string here so this dot environment the root path so then our folder structure okay so once we have this file path 
so we can access our uh, file and also we can convert into byte format so we can use this system dot ivo dot read all bytes okay so now we have the byte so finally we can convert this byte into base 64 So at the end we can return this one okay okay now our method is ready so let me copy this one we can call here okay this function and if you are using this base 64 you have to include some prefixes so while previewing in this HTML so we can follow the same steps here also So finally we are setting the sources of our image URL okay. I'm going to save this one. We have to run the application once again. So let me click this one. Okay our image is loaded now it is working fine okay. So just to consider the real time scenario most of probably we will have the image URLs or else we will have the image files in our application so we covered these two topics so the final one is we may have our images in the databases so the format may be a image image is nothing but the byte format only we can directly convert into base 64 and otherwise if you have direct base 64 in our databases then it's a straightforward thing only okay and before closing this video let me execute my invoice generation PDF So here we will have all the data so, and I am not loaded the image okay so here I am going to include our channel logo so then this invoice copy also a completed functionality okay so let me copy these two lines okay and in our yeah generate PDF function so after our HTML content we can include these two lines so we can run and see our output finally we can close this video okay okay see now it is fine so so even though we can move this logo top of that anyway it's a customization only so based on your requirement uh, we have to do the alignment in our HTML side so then our PDF also will generate the based on our HTML content only so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching